10 to 3. Is this a joke? The playoffs. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to your Saskatchewan Stags franchise mode. Starting off the playoffs, looking to go back to back. We won the Stanley Cup last year, and we finished with a record of 52, 19, and 11. Not bad, not bad at all. However, there was points in the season where I was a little bit concerned, but we turned it on there at the tail end of the year. We are 7-3-0 and in our last 10. Didn't hit 20 regulation losses on the year, and you absolutely love to see that. We are going to make a line change, though, and I got a comment here, a very popular comment from Prestige. He says, Aguchi has 95 face-offs and Hiroyuki is left-handed, so I would try switching those two. Not a bad idea. I don't know why I ever did this. Uh, for some reason, Hiroyuki only has 81 draws. I guess it's kind of a no-brainer to play a Gucci down the middle. Now, I was having a look at the team and having a look at our contract situation before the playoffs here, and I'm gonna do something because I'm a little bit concerned that this is kind of the last, the last, uh, I guess, run we're gonna have with this core group. Like, it's just not really feasible to continue to have, you know, a, pretty much Bowen Byram, Chubby, and Profetti. They're all like 90 overalls. You can't have 10 90 overalls on the team. But what I am going to do is I'm going to see here if we can see if we can get Profetti for a little bit cheaper because I know in free agency and the re-sign stage they generally want a little bit more. So he only wants 5.6 million for three years. I'm totally fine with that. I'm going to offer him 5.5. I think during free agency and during the um, during the resign stage, he's gonna want closer to seven. If we can save that million and a half, two million bucks, absolutely. Because looking at it here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and offer him a contract extension along with Adam Boquist. So that was seven million bucks. This is gonna be five and a half. So, I mean, it's not a lot of money when you think about it. Uh, once these players both sign, if they do, we have 23 million minus the 11 there. So it's gonna be tight. You might not see guys like Justin Falk back for next year, but I think this is going to be the last real, I guess, hoorah, if you want to call it that, the last real push with this core team. And would you call us a super team? I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. Look at all the 90 overalls. We have six of them. One, two, three, four, five. And the most important piece between the pipes, big germ, six foot nine. You'd love to see it. The boys are buzzing right now. I'm feeling confident. Let's get another ring for the beautiful province of Saskatchewan. Injuries are now on. Let's have a look at the St. Louis Blues in round number one. Now, I'm kind of familiar with their team. I know they weren't super stacked. I know they have Tarasenko and Ryan O'Reilly, but they were really well-rounded last time I checked. So they got Nick Suzuki with Ryan O'Reilly and Vladimir Tarasenko. Now, I'm pretty sure Tarasenko is like a 60-goal guy. Yeah, back-to-back -back years with over 60 60 goals, which is incredible. Uh, we got Ryan O'Reilly, who's 34, but he's still producing at a crazy rate, over a point per game for the past, what, one, two, three, four, five, six years, over a point per game. It's pretty damn impressive. And then Nick Suzuki, a nice little complimentary younger player there, over a point per game this year. Uh, I do like that first line. They got Lekkonen and Sammy Blaze, who I've never seen this guy get so good. In every franchise mode I've ever seen, he tops up to like an 82 or 83, but back-to-back -back years of 90 plus points, almost hit 100, which is crazy. And Kip Hansen, who's this guy? Listed as a depth forward, really? Um, he's a former first rounder, 25 years. Is he even good? Um, oh, yeah, okay. Apparently he is good. 47 goals listed as a depth forward. That's insane. So I guess this Kip Hansen and Sammy Blaze, I was looking at him and he's actually got all the assists. 82 helpers this year. I didn't even realize. Kind of like Chubbs and Kyle Connor there, match made in heaven. And they got Robert Thomas uh, from Matchbox 20. They got Tyler Bertuzzi. Yeah, they have a very, very nice bottom six as well. I do like their team. They're not super stacked, but they're just really well-rounded. Defensively, Colton Pareko and Alex Petrangelo, Connor Murphy and Michael Kempney. Now, after winning the Stanley Cup with your Saskatchewan Stags, they decided to sign with the St. Louis Blues as a tandem. As a little duo, they went as a package. That's awesome. So there you go. Uh, it's going to be fun to play against those two guys. They've got a Stanley Cup ring with our team. Uh, and then in between the pipes, Jordan Binghamton, still the man with Laurent Brosson between 
between the pipes as the backup. So there it is. Not a bad team at all. Very well rounded. I don't think we can glance over these guys. I don't think it's going to be a super easy series. We've played them lots. I think our season series is two and one. I know we lost, where was it? We lost right here on the sixth, one to nothing in a shootout. So that one could have went either way. I think we beat them pretty good a little while back. Yeah, seven to two. So we put the hammer down there and I believe, yeah, one of the first games of the year was a four to one win. So we're two and one against the Blues. We could have been three and oh, however, that one nothing shootout loss kind of sucked. Injuries are on, let's go, period. Number one, starting off the postseason in front of your home fans, the Tim Hortons place, looking to go back to back. Every home game is sold out. You can't get tickets for this. Tickets were bought months in advance once we clinched a playoff spot, period. Number one, starting off on the power play, and it's 2-1. All right, Nick Suzuki and Hansen. All right, 47 goals. Can't glance over that guy. Hiroyuki gets us within one. We're out shooting them, but we're down on the score sheet. Let's win the second. Let's go. Oof, a 5-2. It's not good. It's not good. Ryan O'Reilly, Hansen with a hat trick. Jonathan Taze. There you go. Now, I got to mention something about Taze. I mentioned that he's won two Stanley Cups. I'm wrong. He's won three in the last Last video I said he won two and we are getting absolutely spanked 10 to 3 is this a joke oh my god okay all right big germ gotta have a little chat with you bud O'Reilly six points yeah yeah okay 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 let's just let's calm down here everyone take a deep breath everyone relax all right everybody just calm the hell down calm down Adam Boquist all right he says yes and Cole Perfetti also says yes great um let's basically burn the tape from game one we're down by one whatever it is what it is win the first period baby steps guys let's go first period all right three to one that's how you bounce back Suji Moto Aguchi and Aguchi uh Kip Hansen he's got four goals in his first four periods of hockey which is kind of crazy that's a good start they absolutely embarrassed us last game let's embarrass them here I want to see five after the first sorry after the second okay how about four uh chubby there you go and Kip Hansen who the hell is this guy Jesus he's scoring at will all right guys come on hold the lead here hold the lead get the W I don't care how you do it just get the W that Kip Hansen guy though Jesus scoring like crazy Oh, Ryan O'Reilly, make that seven points in two games. However many points he's had in this game. Could be more. Come on, guys. Hold it down. Hold it down. One minute left. Power play for them. And Colton Pareko with 44 seconds. Are you joking me? 44 seconds left. He makes it 4-4. Four to four. You absolutely hate to see that. You hate to see it, guys. And don't worry about it because Hiro Yuki... Oh my god, this is quite the series. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hiroyuki gets us the game-winning goal, and we now have a fresh slate going to St. Louis. What a weird first couple of games. All right, enough of this. Enough of this. Big germ, I need you to hold it down. I need you here, big guy. You're the man between the pipes. You're the rock of this team. Let's get out of the first with the lead. Let's just take it period by period. Let's go. Okay, three goals on 11 shots. Big germ, you're scaring me. Uh, Sammy Blaze, Tarasenko and Tarasenko, Justin Falk and Aguchi. Period number two. Can we tie it up? They get five to three. Damn, what's going on? Five goals on 18 shots. Big germ, what is the problem here? What's going on? Come on, we're still in this though. Lots of hockey left. Get one on the power play. There you go, Gucci. He's been crushing it. He's been killing it lately. And Sammy Blaze makes it six to four. Boys, what is going on? Can someone answer this? What's going on here? I need some sort of an answer. Does anyone have an answer for me? Sujimoto, all right. One minute left. Can we tie it up? Last second heroics? No, six to five. You really, really hate to see that. Um, Tarasenko with a hattie, Aguchi with a hattie, but it doesn't matter because we're down in the series. And it's not like we've, you know, I mean, yeah, they've been one goal games, but we had the lead and we blew it there. 
I need some depth scoring, though. I've seen a lot of goals from Aguchi. I need some bottom six goals. I need a goal from our defense. I need someone. I need someone to step up here. Give me a big kid from Edmonton. Give me a goal from him. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's win the first. There you go. Chubby. He gets two. Oh, thank God. 21-7 to seven are the shots. All right, boys, this is a huge game. You cannot go down 3 nothing here. You, you got to win this one, absolutely. I called. He answered the phone as per usual, period. Number two, let's build on this. We're out shooting them by a ridiculous amount, 38. They don't even have 20 yet. All right, there you go. Chubby with the hat trick. He takes over the game. Sujimoto makes it 4 to nothing. Jonathan Taze makes it 5 to nothing. All right, they embarrassed us. We embarrassed them. Nick Suzuki, he makes it 5 to 1. Almost closing in on 50 shots. There it is, and that's a 5 to 1 victory. That's a big old bounce back game. Chubbs, how are you? Three goals. Thank you. Thank God that Chubbs is good at hockey. Jeez. All right, this has been a back and forth, back and forth series. We're in front of our home fans. The series is all tied up at two. It's been an exciting one, don't get me wrong. It just hasn't been the way I've wanted it to go. Gonna see if we can build on that 5-1 victory. Let's get that momentum going into game number five. Let's go first period, and we're down by two. Hansen and Tarasenko. All right, uh, we only have six shots going into the second. All right, we get one, Hiroyuki. I'm a little bit concerned our bottom six isn't scoring. I mean, Jonathan Taze had a goal last game. Give me a Colton Sissons goal. Give me a Tyler Benson goal. Give me something here. Come on, guys, in front of your home fans. Give us a power play. We're deadly on the PP. Come on, six minutes left. Come on, you cannot go down three. You cannot let them get the lead in the series going back to St. Louis. Oh, Hansen, who is this guy? He's been scoring at will, Jesus. I mean, I'm not gonna make a line change because I know we can beat this team. We've done it before. We scored 10 goals in two games, like we can do it. Seems to be the case just to get on them early, all right? We're down here, not what I expected against the Blues. Let's go, period. Number one, we're in St. Louis and it's 0-0. Period number two, there you go, baby, Aguchi. All right, still nothing from our bottom six, but Aguchi, he's getting the job done. And Ryan O'Reilly, talk about first liners. First line center scoring for them, first line center scoring for us. They're out shooting us by a large margin. Come on guys, five minutes left. Are we going into overtime? Oh man, I can't intervene here. Power play for them, you gotta kill that off. Oh my God, you killed it, thank God. I'm not gonna intervene because we know how crazy it gets, but it doesn't matter because Justin Falk, he forces a game seven, two to one. We're going back to Saskatchewan, baby. Justin Falk puts the team on his back. You love to see it. I'm not making a line change. I'm not doing anything. We're hopping right into it. I'm fired up, let's go. Our defense came through. Now it's time for our bottom two lines to come through. Let's see some goals from the bottom six here. Let's get some production from our grindy lines. Let's win the first, let's go. Period number one, two nothing, baby. Aguchi and Adam Boquist, that's what I'm talking about. 26 shots total, 13 a piece. That's quick math, boom, how are ya? Period, number two. Oh, four to three, okay, that one blew it wide open. Aguchi, Tarasenko, Tyler Benson from center ice, and then Hansen. Jeez, that guy's so damn good. All right, game seven. Let's calm it down here, everyone relax. We're up by one, shots are even. It's gonna be a one-shot game, and Hansen, that fucking guy. Hansen, who are you and why? Why are you so good at hockey? But it's all good because we've got guys like Sujimoto and Chubbs that are gonna score right now. Right now, game seven, five minutes left, and Sujimoto, I called it, I called it. Three minutes left, is that all it's gonna take? Come on, baby, Sujimoto, he gets it all done on his own. Jesus, what a stressful and ridiculous first round. I called it though, Sujimoto, that's the captain right there, baby, that's why you got the C. What a ridiculous first round. I hated that first round. 10 to three, like how many goals were scored in that entire series? That's ridiculous. All right, we took St. Louis to seven games. We're a little bit exhausted. However, we have no injuries to report, but we have the Winnipeg Jets in round number two. All right, a team we are very, very, very familiar with. Eight goals, five helpers, 13 points in seven games. He's putting the team on his back. That entire first line did incredible. Uh, 13, nine and nine, of course. Kyle Connor with eight helpers. Chubby with four goals. Perfetti with 
plus 7. Although that entire line is uh, minus right now, which is a little bit concerning. Just the lack of scoring from our bottom six was really, really not ideal. Uh, I need some guys to step up. I need Michael Dow goal. All right, Anthony Sorelli, you guys are best buds. Come on, something's got to click here. Now, Big Germ didn't have the greatest of first rounds, but we got it done, so I'm not really going to complain. Not going to push the panic button. Uh, we went to seven games against the Blues, and they went to only five against the Stars. Interesting. Uh, Nika Solani is now golfing. The Tampa Bay Lightning got rid of them in six. Tampa, New Jersey, New York Islanders, Carolina. What a series. All right, and then we got Vancouver and Chicago. That one's always fun. Now, we're very, very familiar with this roster. We're very familiar with this entire team, so we're not going to go too in-depth. I don't think they've made any crazy changes. Since they ended up uh, letting Mark Shifley go to free agency, I know their centers aren't great. Well, they're not bad. They're just not first-liners. They're like a bunch of second and third line centers here. Uh, but Vasilainen, Patrick Liney, Nikolai Ehlers, Capo Caco. What a nasty set of wingers there. Uh, 89, 89, 95, and 91. Imagine a 35-year-old Adam Henrique being a first line center between Patrick Line and Vasilainen. Uh, the Finns are out though. So they're all four of their wingers. Sorry, no. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers is from Denmark. Right. So I was, I was going to say they have a lot of Finns, but it's Patrick Line, Vasilainen, and Capo Caco. They're all Finns. Jonathan Marcheseau, Chris Tierney, and Petrell. So, yeah, they're stacked. They got a lot of... They've always seemed to have really, really good wingers. Um, defensively, Morrissey, Niku, Truba, Nate Schmidt. Frankie Vitrano is a winger playing defense. Okay. Same with Joel Armia, um, also a winger playing defense. Uh, are you guys good? So there's the injuries, Luke Green and Mirko Mueller. So they have forwards uh, like Cop, I guess, and this guy who aren't usually playing. So they got some injuries to deal with. We don't have any, but it's Connor Hellebuck and Franklin Big Mac McKenzie. I'm surprised they've let this goaltending duo go all the way. Usually uh, they trade one of them, but a 91 and a 89, not bad at all. That first round was way too stressful. Let's make this one short and sweet. Let's go. Our next door neighbor province, Winnipeg, Manitoba, the home of Jonathan Taze. Let's go. Period number one. And it's one nothing for them. Chris Tierney. All right. Period number two. That is not how I wanted that second period to go. Andrew Kopp, JT Comfer, and Patrick freaking Line. I don't know what it is with Game 1s. This happened last year as well in the postseason. We started off terribly in Game number 1. It was always so bad. We got one Sujimoto with a minute left, but that is just not acceptable. Not good at all. But we're a team that likes to bounce back. We did it after we lost 10-3. to We bounced back in overtime in Game 2. They've only lost once in the postseason. Let's see two L's for the Winnipeg Jets. Let's win the first. Start it off slow. Shift by shift. Give me a bottom six goal. Give me some one here. Sujimoto once again, 16 to 12 are the shots. He's been killing it. Period number two. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Cole Profetti, there you go. Jonathan Marcheseau and Nikolai Ehlers. We got ourselves a hockey game here. Shots are dead even. 2-2, two, two. power play. Five on three. Chubby, power play goal. Come on, baby. Kyle Connor, there you go. Known for his assists. Scoring on former teammate Connor Hellebuck. Aguchi makes it 4-2. to two. That's the bounce back game I'm talking about. Closing in on 40 shots. There it is. We're peppering Connor Hellebuck. Now, if you remember from our previous franchise mode, Connor Hellebuck doesn't usually allow third period goals. However, this one's a little bit different. He allows two in the third period, and we bounce back. Thank you. We have an injury. Michael Dalcol, a concussion, May 27th. You hate to see it. Afinisankov, welcome to the show, baby. So we got Afina Sankov here, who we acquired during the Boston Bruins trade. Um, he had a pretty good year in the AHL this year. He's getting his first crack at the National Hockey League level. A former first-round pick. We ended up trading him in the Braden Shen deal. We also got a first, which we ended up picking Franzen. So a pretty good trade. Out of all of our trades, I don't think we've lost that many. I think we've uh, we've done pretty well with the moves that we've made with this team. But game number three, we can really go ahead here go up 2-1 against the Winnipeg Jets. Jonathan Taze, friends and family in attendance. Let's go here. Period. 
number one. I need a big game, and there it is. A Finisankov. How are you, bud? The Russians are taking over. A Finisankov and Chubbs. Oh, man. Here we go. The Russian Mafia. Period. Number two. All right. They get one. Jonathan Marcheseau. He's got goals in back-to-back. -back. We're being outshot like crazy, but oh, man. Patrick Laine. That one hurts. That one hurts. All right, guys, I need another Russian goal here. I need another Russian goal. Maybe an Adam Boquist goal from the point. Give me something. 28-46 are the shots. are being outshot like crazy. They're closing in on 50. And Vaseline and those damn Finns. But Kyle Connor, he comes right back with three minutes left, tying up the game. Goals in back-to-back -back for the man who usually gets all the assists in the world. And we're going into overtime. So I am going to intervene. However, I'm going to put the sliders back to normal. Because usually it's just like the first shot usually goes in, which sucks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the sliders back back to normal so we don't get that crazy stuff. Going in on a two-on-one and having one guy like so offside and the first shot usually goes in, it's not super fun, especially in the playoffs. In the regular season, it's fine, but the playoffs can't be having that. Oh my god, it's painfully slow. It's painfully slow. Here comes Sujimoto, tries to rip it short side. After seeing how fast the sliders make it, this is just like, it's so boring to watch. <laughs> Here comes Cole Perfetti, he shoots, and a big save by Connor Hellebuck. It kind of seems like it's too slow. Maybe I'm just really used to the super crazy sliders, but it seems like it's almost too slow. Adam Boquist, he's rushing up the side, trying to cut in, and he just quits on the play. <laughs> okay. Here comes Bowen Byram, he finds Cole Perfetti. Perfetti winds up, he shoots. Oh my god, what a toe save. Kyle Connor, oh my god, looking for the Hattie. Oh, Tierney with the shot, and Patrell picks up the garbage. Oh, that sucks. They had 58 shots, by the way. I mean, we played pretty good there in the uh, overtime frame. Connor Hellebuck, though, made some huge stops. Going into game number four, hopefully we can tie up the series on enemy territory. I don't want to intervene with those slow-ass sliders. That made it so boring. I was falling asleep there. Sorry you guys had to watch that. Period. Number one, let's get some excitement going. There you go. Hayden Flurry, baby. Saskatchewan-born kid. Period. Number two, let's keep it going. There you go. Two-nothing. Chubby, the Russian-born. There you go. Uh, the first ever draft pick scoring a big goal. Adam Boquist on Franklin McKenzie. So I guess they pulled, um, they pulled Connor Hellebuck after two, or he, or maybe he got injured. I don't know. Kristen Vasilainen cuts the lead to two, but I think it's too little, too late. Closing in on 40 shots. There it is. Colton Sissons. Finally, he wakes up after having a huge postseason last year. He gets a big one and making it four to one. We tie up the series. Now is that an injury for? Um, is that now is that an injury for them or did they just pull the goalie after two which kind of seems weird but i mean i've seen crazier things happen so michael dow cole may 27th he's done for a little while uh what about the winnipeg jets so nothing i guess they just pulled connor hellebuck after two I don't know. Uh, sure. Interesting. Unfortunately, Michael Dal Cole is done for a little while, at least till the end of the third round or the middle of the third round, depending on how far we end up going here. But let's go. Period. Number one. Take a big stranglehold here and Vaselinen and Patrell. Yikes. All right, we're down by two, but it's all good. We've come from behind lots here. Let's just tie this one up here. Going into the second. Can we tie it up? No. Jonathan Taze. All right, he's the only one that scores for us. Um, we're out shooting him by a huge margin, but we can't get anything past Connor Hellebuck. Man, he's been playing so damn good. You hate to see it. You hate to see our backs up against the wall. Game five, they took it. I'm not going to make a line change because we know we can beat these guys. We know we can. Every single game has been relatively close here. Let's just win the first. Let's go. Oh, boys, not good. Patrick Line and Capo Caco, period. Number two. Okay, we get one. Aguchi. Thank you. I've said it once, I'll say it again. We need some more scoring aside from our top six. They can't do it all. And Chris Tierney, is that the dagger? Is that the dagger on our season? Are you guys going to let it go just like that? That's disappointing, man. That's super, super disappointing. You really, really hate to see it. 36 shots. 
I mean, is it just running into a hot goalie? Like, what's the deal here? That sucks. Oh, wait, the big kid from Edmonton, he gets one. But unfortunately, it is all but too late. The Winnipeg Jets move on and the Saskatchewan Stags are going golfing. That sucks. I mean, we just got no love from anyone else. Our top six, our top line, they did incredible. But where was the scoring? Where's Anthony Sorelli? Where's, where, I mean, Jonathan Taze had a couple of goals, but I mean, you can see like Rasmus Anderson, our bottom pairing defenseman had more points than, you know, Colton Sissons. Like, oh, that just sucks. Even, even Michael Del Cole, I mean, in the nine games he played, he only had two assists. Tyler Benson as well, like Chaika, like, we just didn't give enough goal support. I mean, we know all of these guys are going to be point per game guys pretty much, and that's great, but you can't you really can't rely on that for the entire postseason. And Big Germ, I'm not going to say he played super fantastic because he didn't. Uh, there was times, especially in the 10-3 game against the Blues, I was definitely concerned. But that sucks, especially because this was the year to go back to back. This was it. Now, what do we do? It's tough to swallow. And the Winnipeg Jets are your Stanley Cup champions. Once again, though, the cup does stay in Canada. I think that's the fourth straight year. I mean, if you're going to look at a positive, that's got to be it. But I'm disappointed, man, big time. Uh, Columbus, the Rangers, the Bruins, Ottawa, Toronto, those are your top five. No changes in the draft order. No one goes up. No one goes down. No, one's, no one trades picks. Uh, I'm not going to look at the draft class just yet. But I'm disappointed. I really am. Because I thought, I mean, after the year we had, I thought we were really going to go for it. But the National Hockey League has a new goal-scoring champion, and that is Alex. Alexander Ovechkin, 918 goals. He retires even though he's still over a 50 goal guy per year, which is crazy. Uh, so there you go, 39 years old, he decides to call it quits. Kopitar, uh, he had 488 goals. Backstrom, Claude Giroux, Blake Wheeler calls it quits. Justin Williams. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Jonathan Taze his fourth ring. You hate to see it. There he goes. He retires after a short stint with the Saskatchewan Stags. Uh, all these guys all retired. Bunch of household names. So there's going to be a lot of new players here in the NHL. A lot of new faces. All these guys calling it quits. Uh, any goalies? Who's out there is still a good goalie? Um, Carey Price. Oh, man. Two wins off of 500. Yikes. Almost 1,000 games as well. Uh, Ryan Miller, Halak, Bishop, James Reimer, Scott Darling, Koskinen, Eddie Lack. Legend. All right. So the next episode could be a sad one because... <laughs> We could see some players not return, depending on how much cap we have. Cole Perfetti is now a 91. Damn, that's not bad at all. Uh, Kyle Connor dropped to an 88. Um, where is Chubbs? Chubbs has dropped down to an 88. Mahalik, Chaika, I'm just trying to see if anyone really jumped up. Franzen still a 75. The big kid's an 80. Um, so Russ Delmore is looking like he's going to be our backup for next year. I think he's going to jump to like 80 over the course of the offseason. This guy could be coming for your job, big germ. Watch out. He's a big dude as well. 6'5", 219. So our goaltenders, a bunch of big boys. All right, time for the season wrap-up here. Have a look at the playoff tree. Who did they face in the Stanley Cup final? They ended up facing Jack Hughes and the New Jersey Devils, beating them in seven games. All right, so congrats to the Winnipeg Jets. I'm happy the Cup stays in Canada. Uh, yeah, that's five straight years, actually. Winnipeg, Saskatchewan, Vancouver, Calgary, Vancouver. Love to see it. Oscar Gormley wins the Art Ross. The heart goes to Aguchi. There you go. Now we just need to get Sujimoto the heart. Has there ever been a line? I don't know if anyone can even look this up, but has there ever been a line of all heart trophy winners? Because if Sujimoto gets one, that's going to be heart trophy for Aguchi, heart for Hirayuki, and the heart for Sujimoto. That'd be sick. Uh, Drew Doughty wins the Norris. All right. Phil the Thrill wins the Lady Bing. Uh, Nicholas wins the Calder. Line A, the Con Smythe. The Vesna goes to that franchise guy from the Hawks. Nothing else. Do we take home any other hardware? Brendan Dillon from the Vegas Golden Knights. Oscar Gormley wins the Frank J. Selkie. And the Ted Lindsay goes to Aguchi. That's awesome. 
All right, so we have $11 million to work with, and who do we have to sign? Justin Falk would say he wants $6 million. is going to want two or three. I mean, we might be able to go for one more run with this team. We might be able to do it, but we're going to have new players on the team, like Norm Clarkson's going to be ready. So Colton Sissons, is it time to say goodbye? Uh, Mahalik might be ready as well. Like Rasmus Anderson, I don't think we're going to bring him back. Can probably just cut him. We're definitely not going to bring him back. As for goalies, though, I really think that uh, Delmore is going to be the backup for next year. So I think we're just actually lucky enough that Cole Perfetti took the pay cut. Aguchi took a pay cut. Um, Chubby definitely took a pay cut. Um, I think we might be able to squeeze out one more year. If you had to do one thing with this team, let me know what it would be. What's our fourth line going to look like? Completely write out our roster for next year. I want to see what you guys have in mind. And uh, if you have to cut people, let me know. But in the offseason, I don't know if it's going to be too crazy. The next offseason after this might be the crazy one. But I can't leave this franchise with only one Stanley Cup. That's just simply not acceptable. We're coming back with some serious value vengeance next year. I'm not screwing around this year. I'm not happy about it and I'm going to let the boys know. But that's going to be it guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys at the NHL Entry Draft in Philadelphia.